Mellow greetings, Tubians, Ronan T here, and let's fanfic Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. Spring 9, Year 1, Monday, Sunny. Ugh. Woke up not feeling 100%. Maybe I've been pushing it too hard, but I feel like I have to. This farm, my farm, will be my salvation. All alone, I was somewhat lackluster with my chores. The cucumbers and potatoes are flowering, so they should be ready for harvest soon, which is great! I spent some time with Rand, but he really seemed to echo my mood. I started my forage run, and while I was out, I met a woman by the big lake. It was a bit early for anyone to be out and about. I wasn't expecting it. And she was... Well... It's just you and me here. She was weird. Really pretty with those old lilac eyes and the longest hair I've seen on anyone. She could co cosplay as Rapunzel with no effort at all. She introduced herself as Jennifer, and that's where normal stopped. She's some kind of new age hippie type. All natural energies and chakras, birds and blessings. A friend of Someone I knew once was like that, so I was able to respond in kind at least. She hopes the energies bring us together again. I wonder what she would say if I told her I've been speaking to the goddess every day? I mean, literally speaking to the goddess? I do feel kind of guilty for flopping her off, but like I said, woke up not feeling grand and... This meeting was representative of esoteric truths that happened before lunch. <sighs> I did see that monkey again while gathering flowers for my offering. I wonder what his story is. Where did he come from? He? She? How do you tell the difference? I ran into town to pick up some, some more seeds. And some chocolate. Chocolate always makes me feel better. Right? I decided to suck it up and I went to the clinic. Should at least meet the local quack, right? Journal? He's gorgeous. Black hair falling carelessly over deep grey eyes. A stern visage, but if you look you can see signs of laughter. He introduced himself as Doctor. Not Dr. Bob. Not Dr. Terry. Just Doctor. I feel like there's a story here, but... I don't know it yet. Looks like he's a researcher as well as a regular doc. After taking me through the spiel about health and fatigue and stamina, he asked for my help with an experiment. A new medicine he was working on. I agreed to help. In the city, human guinea pigs are paid a stipend and swilled it all. It was Foul. I walked past a traditional tannery once when I was on vacation. It kind of tasted the same as the air there. Blech. But I did feel better. And hey, free medicine. Doctor did apologize for the taste, so that's a good. But I'm going to be tasting that for days. Blech. It is such a cutie. I stopped in to say hi to Cliff while I was in town. Gave him one of the bars of Chucky I had. He seemed happy at that. I still don't know what he does. Spent a few hours fishing in the afternoon. Came home around sunset and decided to call it a night. Even with the medicine, I'm still not feeling great. It's meant to be sunny again tomorrow. Night journal. Field notes. Spring 9. It is so much better here. I'll admit it, when Sam told me about this place being touched by the goddess, I scoffed. I've got no truck with that mumbo jumbo. But I remembered the reference. That look. So when I escaped, when I left, I came here. And the energies are amazing! I'm not sure why, but 
I'm not leaving until I work it out. The air is just so clear and almost sweet. The water is pure except for except for this one spot near the island cave, which kind of feels murky or dirty somehow. The whole place is overflowing with life. I can feel it with every breath. But there is a downside. The worst part of being here. And that's that all of the locals take this for granted. If I try and talk to them about it, their eyes glaze over and they just sort of nod blankly. How can they not be aware? Maybe because they grew up with it. But everyone except Brenna. According to the rumor mill, she's a city sider like I am. I met her this morning and instead of side eyeing me like I'm some kind of loon, she agreed with me. She feels it too. It's so nice to finally meet someone who gets it. The energies here are earthborn, they're not the result of some namby pamby goddess. I can't wait to talk to her again. Maybe she'll let me to her farm. From the case notes of Dr. T. Dr. M.D. Patient presents with high fatigue, possibly as a result of malnutrition. Prescribed coffee. New shipment of medication arrived from Forget-Me-Not Valley, reputed to increase both stamina and fatigue. However, trials suggest that the medication's effect is not as pronounced as it could be. I've decided to put some of my spare time towards improving this for general consumption. I've tried blending several glasses and stamina booster with this medication and stirring into hypercaffeinated coffee before steeping for several hours. Results seem unpalatable, so I've added some anise and ribena to improve the flavour. We'll endeavour to find participants with suitably strong constitutions for appropriate trials. Unconscious patient carried in, covered in coal dust. Note to self, speak with Thomas about the need to put up some warning signs in front of that damn mine to warn people about the dangers of going in unprepared. Or otherwise, the need to get more beds into the clinic. Who knows what could happen if the bed's already occupied while others are fainting. Prescribed bed rest. And a shower. Suppose I can't complain too much about the mine. I spent my own share of time in those mines back in the day before my studies led me away from Mineral Town for a few years. We must have been, what, eight back then? We were so sure we could find Alexandrite down there, but we never made it more than a few floors down. You never make better friends than you do at that age. I remember when we collapsed in there as well, and had to carry each other up to the doctor back then. That was when I knew what I wanted to do with it I grew up. A doctor, so that I could make sure my friends and family were safe. So I could keep everyone well and make sure... Oops. I spilled my Robina. Barely finished cleaning the office when I encountered a new patient today. Name? Brenner. Age? Indeterminate. Occupation? Farmer. No complaints or symptoms, just visited to meet Haley and I. The granddaughter of the past farmer, come to pick up where he left off. Willing to become the very first subject for trial of new medication. Reported experience? Flavor? Unpalatable. Efficacy? Met expectations. Further experimentation required. Brenna seems like a quite hardy subject. I would like to try and involve her in further experimentation at a later time. Spring 10, Year 1, Tuesday. Sunny. The turnips were up! Oh, I'm so looking forward to the cash infusion. I harvested, watered, and planted out the new seeds I got yesterday. Spent some time with rain, cleaned up a bit foraged, and made offering. Just a normal morning run. Same as I've been doing all week. So why did it take me up to four o'clock to get finished? A whole day blown doing what I do every day? Still, I got more of the field cleared, which will be a great help. Just an average day. I like average. And this feels better than any old average. Nothing excited happened, but I feel like I achieved things. I feel tired and achy and 
accomplished. Kind of proud. And tired. Did I mention that? Really, really tired. It's supposed to be sunny again tomorrow. I'm going to call it day journal. I just... Where does the day go? I don't understand. Good night, channel.